So EHA as an organization want this meeting to, to represent the whole community of what it is we're looking to serve. We're acutely aware that probably two thirds of the people that come to this meeting view themselves as general haematologists. That is people who are seeing more than one disease, more than one specialty. It's very important with such rapid advances in the field that we keep all of our members fully up to date with what's happening. It's an important component of what we do that the patient advocacy track, which is new at this meeting, is something that's going to continue. A lot of, uh, uh, and, and we want more involvement in patient advocacy in terms of what we're doing, in terms of clinical trial development, in terms of thinking about, uh, about access to medicines. Uh, of course, EHAS, an organization, is doing a, a great deal of work advocating behind the scenes and in Brussels in terms of making sure we get equitable access not just in, in Western Europe, but also across uh, the whole of Europe, and thinking about not just that people can read about it and hear about it at EHA, but actually implement it for their patients. I think we can expect to see in next year's meetings, which will of course be in Stockholm, uh, we're very excited about going back there again, um, that we will see more of this continued theme of education of these new fields and how we can apply these new advances into advances in patient care.